Hi guys and welcome back to day 20 of my 31 days of Halloween challenge. So as you can see by the intro, today's look is Spider Woman. This was inspired by Makeup by Tash over on Instagram. She's an amazing artist, make sure you go check her out. So we're starting by applying foundation to the one portion of the face. Now I know this foundation looks very dark for me right now. I am transitioning from my summer makeup to winter and I am not tanned at the moment so I am aware it's a lot too dark for me but we make it work so don't panic. I'm also applying some concealer underneath my eyes. This is just the collection concealer in the shade Lemon. I'm applying that underneath my brows as well. Then I'm just putting in my brow as I usually would using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Granite. Taking some finishing powder to set that concealer in place and using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. Then going in with my Milani Bronzer, this is in the shade Dolce. And I'm using this to bronze up the face and really contour those cheekbones. I'm only concentrating these products in that one portion of the face guys as we will be going in with the red paint on the other half of the face eventually. Then taking this black face paint by Snazaru and I'm applying this to my eyelid. This is going to act as a base ready for our black eyeshadow. Taking the black shade from my Imagination palette. This palette is amazing guys. It's by Makeup Revolution. And I'm just using that to blend out that black face paint. So we're going for a really deep smoky eye. Then going back in with the black face paint and I'm drawing on the crack down the centre of my face. This is going to divide the normal portion of the face to the spider woman portion. And I'm not doing this in any particular order guys, I'm just sort of winging it. And then going ahead with that same black face paint and drawing on the spider legs emerging from the eye. So this looks so creepy guys, you've probably seen a lot of these spider leg looks. But yeah, I thought it would be perfect to include this in the spider woman look today. So you just want to get a reference photo of a spider. And just continue to draw on those eight legs, just take your time with it. We're also going to add some shading and highlight to this as well to make it look a lot more realistic. Taking that same black eyeshadow and I'm using this just to define that crack down the centre of the face. Then picking up my bright red face paint also by Snazaru and I'm completely filling in the other portion of the face and chest area. So you just want to take your time with this also. I'm just using a big fluffy brush to paint this on. And I will be applying two coats of this, guys, just to give the best coverage. So here I'm taking a reference photo of Spider-Man himself and I'm drawing on those markings using a black face paint. So just taking my time with this, following that picture. 
all those lines connect to the center of the face so it's just really important to make sure everything is symmetrical And now that we're done with the vertical lines, we're going into the horizontal lines. I say horizontal, but they're actually very curved. Um, so you want to make sure that they're going up and down over each vertical line to create that web effect. Also, I'm so sorry about the camera angle here, guys. I didn't realise I was leaning so far forward. My bad, I'm really sorry. I hope you can see what I'm doing. And once I'm done with all the markings, I've just gone ahead to draw a spider coming out of my mouth there. Lovely stuff. <laughs> and then I'm taking the same black eyeshadow from earlier to create some shadowing between each marking. And my camera decided to cut out on me on this next step guys I'm really sorry but I've just gone ahead and drawn on some extra spiders so I've got a really large spider on the left side and another little one here on the right which you can see I'm drawing now also taking some of that white face paint also by Snazaroo just to add some extra highlights to the spiders which will make them look a lot more realistic and three-dimensional Again, just look up some reference photos of spiders on Google and that'll really help you. I'm adding a lash to my right eye. This is the Baby Doll 747 lash, one of my favourites, especially for Halloween looks. I'm also highlighting my inner corners using my Colourpop Flexitarian highlighter. I cut out a Spider-Man shaped eye using some plain white paper. And once I had the desired shape, I just glued that down with some spirit gum. I also went in and painted my hand red just to give that extra effect and we are done you guys. This is probably one of my favourite Halloween looks I've created this year. I'm super stoked with how it's turned out. I hope you guys liked it too. If you did please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already. It means the absolute world and if you recreate this look please be sure to tag me over on my Instagram. I'd love to see all your recreations. So yeah, thank you so much for watching as always guys and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye!